นี่ยพันเยอะอย่าพากันเนี่ยพากันจานีวัดสักตั้มมันส์For the TLDR, created some jobs, cleaned up some trails. Seven days in Marty Himal was amazing. Cleaned up 18 bags of trash all the way up to 4,500 meters to the Marty Himal base camp, and then over to Poon Hill. Hi, I'm Doug Silton, and I just finished a seven-day trash cleanup on the Marty Himal trek in Nepal. All right, day four. Bag number yep. one. one, and now we're starting bag number two. So I had two goals coming back to Nepal. Uh, it's my third trip to Nepal in the last five years. And uh, my two goals were one, to clean up the trails because there's a lot of trash on the trails in the Himalayas, and two, to create jobs. Ever since the 2015 earthquake, people have been struggling to make ends meet. And my friends who live in the tiny village of Singla in Gorkha, their village was demolished. And so I always have guides or porters from that village. I did a fundraiser on GoFundMe here in the U.S. to pay for the daily fee that I wanted to pay one of my porters to clean up trash, uh, and then the other porter I paid for myself, and that's uh, and he carried my bag. My two porters, Men um, Bahadur Guru and Nade Bahadur Guru, you guys are absolutely amazing. They actually traded off who was picking up trash and who was carrying my bag on any given day. Overall, we picked up 18 huge bags of trash, and here is the the recap of this journey. All right, just stretching here at LAX. So, um, hopping on my flight to Houston to then to get to Doha to then to get to Kathmandu, starting the 30-hour trip. Um, there are huge storms in Nepal right now. People who are on the Annapurna Circuit Trek are stuck. I'm pivoting. I'm going to be doing, I believe, a different trek. In Nepal, um, I think it's the the Poon Hill trek. But to be determined, if it's just snowing and the rain stops in a few days, I'll still do the Annapurna. Um, but hello, everybody. Okay, three days on the trail, picked up so much trash. People are loving it. Um, getting comments from the Nepali, uh, the trekkers. It's fascinating. Um, Really proud of my guys. They're going out above and beyond, picking up, like jumping off the trail, picking up trash. It's fantastic. Oh, wow. Wow. Oh, wow. Met a lot of people along the way, trekkers, both Nepali and foreigners. Um, everyone was super excited to see that this was being done. Yeah. Hello, I'm Rotem, I'm from Israel. Hello, my name is Sergi and I'm from Catalonia in Spain. I just did a Manaslo and Annapurna circuit and it was so dirty. And then I came and did Mardi Hima and it was clean. You can all do all this with one porter only. Yeah, I, came, I went to ABC, uh, EBC, Everest Base Camp, and it was also the same, like dirty everywhere, but here it's so clean. So happy for that. I have got so much respect for these guys. Little bits of litter that are affecting this unbelievably pristine environment. Uh, I paid my regards to him. He's doing a great job. Just here hanging out and uh, see that these guys are picking up some trash along the trail, which is amazing. It's so cool to see the pool getting cleaned up and better for people, better for nature and uh, awesome initiative. Yeah, it's amazing. Even the, I mean, to keep all this trail, this trekking in a clean state, and I think this uh, initiative is really good to make people be aware about uh, to keep our land, the land of the Nepalese people that give for the tourists to come here and do the trekking clean, but also 
for the sake of everyone. It's amazing. It's awesome. Look, there's like Doug and the guys here up and down the trail picking up trash, doing a wonderful job for all of us tourists who are up and down this trail. We uh, can't thank them enough. It's immaculate all the way up. We'll see how you get on down there. If you carry on doing a good job, we'll give you a score out of 10 at the bottom. Cheers. <laughs> Thank you so much. Yeah. Thank you so much, Dai. Thank you, thank you. Really appreciate it. Really. Thank you. Thank Uh, we did Marty Hamal Base Camp. Uh, so we're from Dampos to Marty Hamal Fish Tail Base Camp. And then Poon Hill to today, 16 bags of trash. Yeah, just two guys doing it, not in, man. I try not to buy the plastic up here. The problem are not the truckers, it's the locals, but. Really? Yeah. Wow. It's close. Close it up, man. We're good. The title should be like uh, the person who is carrying the uh, trash. He is actually a safa wala manje, the person who cleans the thing. But in Nepal we call them four wala manje, which is actually wrong. So the title should be safa wala manje. But it's not quite very, you know, poetic. So there should be something, uh, uh, element of surprise in the title. Today. We're at high camp, 35-50 meters. So, high camp is down there. You take that ridge all the way up to here. Gondar Fatsuli. Gondar Fatsuli. Yeah. This on the Gangapurno. Yeah. This on the Furno. And up on the south. Man is gloving up. Base camp morning, look at this shit. Dude, amazing. The trail is now clean between high camp and base camp. That is impressive, my friend. That is impressive. Okay, so, so far we've counted, we have eight bags, but one was like heaping full because we came from uh, base camp, we didn't have an extra bag. So, um, yeah, eight bags, and uh, we're on the ninth right now. And we're cleaning up the village as we go. Um, it's just, yeah. A lot of trash. A lot of Snickers. My goal is to... Um, figure out how Snickers want to sponsor a, the trail, major, the major section of the trail cleanup all at once. That'd be very handy. Snickers, I would appreciate that. Um, since you're the popular candy here in Nepal, especially among truckers and locals, if you would uh, help us out.
Um, I'm surprised that other people don't have this idea, but what I would recommend is when you're, if you're using a guide or a company to go to Nepal, all you have to do is say, hey, I'm interested in, in hiring an extra porter, uh, whatever the rate is for that company, whether it's $15 a day, $20 a day, $30 a day, and, um, and that porter can walk one to two kilometers ahead of you. Uh, we walked as a trio, as a little group together, but my goal is, let's say you have a group of 10 people trekking, your one or two porters that you hire extra for trash cleanup will be ahead of you, and ideally you're gonna have a more cleaned up trail as you're walking along the trail. So, Nade went ahead, I was chatting with a Canadian lady about trash cleanup, and, and look at this, the trail is clean. So if you're going on a trek, and you're with a company, ask them if you can have an extra porter picking up trash a kilometer ahead of you. There he is down there. There's Nade. And you have a clean trail to walk on. That's freaking amazing. Good job today, Nade. Started in Dampus and went to Forest Camp. Yes, Forest Camp. And then went through Lokia. Yeah. Uh, I slept in high camp Again. and then went to base camp, yeah. back to forest yeah. camp, forest camp yeah. and then we went this trail this time down to Landruk and then we came over here to uh, and we, yeah. And then tomorrow we're going to go back through New Bridge where we are, yes. go sleep in Gandruk, up to Tadapani, over to Gorapani. Sunrise hike, back, Pokhara. Now, sadly, the problem is there is no recycling program in Nepal and the villagers burn everything. So the plastic uh, is, is a horrible for the environment, of course, to burn it, but that's outside my pay grade and the government of Nepal will have to do something for that infrastructure. Um, so we, in, in my journey this last time, every, uh, a few times a day when we had a full bag of trash, we were able to leave it at one of the, the lodges in the villages and they agreed to dispose of it, which of course means they're going to burn it. The panoramic guest house, the owner is amazing. He said we can leave this bag of trash here and they'll take care of it. So thank you, panoramic guest house. So, um, for sustainability, there is no answer right now, but uh, I'm gonna recommend that everyone get an extra porter or a porter for your trek. Even if you wanna carry your bags yourself, you wanna carry a backpack, hire a porter, create a job. You know, these people, like $20 a day means the world to them. My guide in Singla, Sun, uh, he needs $700 a year to support his wife and kids. So having a job for a few days on the trail um, it is very, very important to, to the Nepal uh, who don't have other jobs. Okay, the mules are coming. We are running, 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 running. Cause the mules are coming to the bridge. Run! So after all that, they stopped the mules <laughs> before they could cross. So, nice morning sprint with the pack on. On today! We, Tim. Oh! oh. <laughs> My other solution for the future is something that I'm calling the 10 Pieces Initiative. And uh, it, there won't be a sticker with a back and you take off and create more trash. There's no patches for your backpacks. Simply a Ziploc bag. That you write hashtag 10 pieces on it, and the 10 pieces initiative says that when you're trekking in the Himalayas, or for me here at home in Boring, Oregon, yes, I live in the town of Boring, Oregon, um, or you're, you're in the Colorado Rockies, or wherever in the world you are, wherever you live or wherever you hike, pick up 10 pieces of trash a day. Uh, hopefully, at some point in this world, there are there is no trash to pick up on the trails, and maybe that's how it is where you live, where I live here in Boring, most of my trails are actually spotlessly clean. 
But when I see something, I pick it up. I'll put it in this bag of hashtag 10 pieces. If you're into social media, which I uh, am not, um, I'll still post this on social media just to have the growing trend of, hey, let's clean up this world together. I'm a proud burner in the Burning Man culture. MOOP stands for matter out of place. And we demoop the world. If something doesn't belong there, we pick it up and remove it. Trash is a very great example of something that doesn't belong on a nature trail. Okay, so my cell phone just fell down <laughs> there when I fell off the trail. Uh, and Marinade just like <laughs> bounded down the hill and got it back for me. So I have my Did phone back. On. Yay! Okay, we just passed by the village with a huge waterfall. Super clean, like no trash. It was amazing. Fished. Yeah, dude. Yeah, buddy. Thank you for joining me on this. Uh, reach out to guides if you are wanting to uh, hire an extra porter or a porter for your trek for trash cleanup. And hashtag 10 pieces. Let's clean up the world. You can do it, man. He's gonna go get a rock. You've got frozen moop. Oh, nice. Good. No. In time, you to bang out there. How was that? How was it? 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 How <laughs> okay? No, there's one more. Mm-hmm. <laughs>